Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas, and I would like to welcome you to Crocoblock channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to force users to use a strong password on your WordPress website. This is a great way to improve your WordPress security when signing up with a new account. With JetForm Builder, you can force a strong password on users without adding any plugins. Here are the topics that I want to cover today. All you need is JetForm Builder plugin, and this is available for free. And I want to talk about the advanced form validation feature offered by JetForm Builder. So I'd like to show you how to add the matches regular expressions rule in the password input field. And I will show you the results. So let's get started. So first you need to add the free version of JetForm Builder. So you just type JetForm Builder and then it should be right at the front. And then you're gonna install and activate. So I already activated. So go to plugin. So it's right here. Okay. And then go to JetForm Builder. And I have this user registration form. I created this in the previous tutorial. So I'm not going to show you how to create uh, the form again. You can take a look at the, my previous tutorial for how to create a registration form. Okay, so I'm going to just go to hit the edit. So this is just simple forms, name field, email field, and password confirm pa password field, just four fields. Actually, let me show you the uh, registration page first. Go to pages and then uh, right here. So I'm going to just uh, click view here. And here is the user registration page. And I can, let's say, type easy password. And then it let me create that. And if I hit the sign up, it lets the user to create my account with this easy password. And But this is not really secure, as you can see. So I would like to prevent this from happening. So let's go back to form editor. And I'm going to select the password input field right here. And then make sure this is in the block tab. And if you scroll down, you see validation. And then pick advanced. And you can add a new rule here. Okay. Now, before I begin this, um, I'd like you to um, check out this page. JetFone Builder has this advanced form validation uh, document here. And then uh, there's a number of things you can try. And today, so I'm going to try, right, so it's right here. So matches regular expressions. The message will appear if users enter the symbols combination that does not match the regular expressions. For example, so you can set the, this ex, uh, regular expression, okay? So now I'll show you. So here are the regular expressions uh, we want to use to create the strong password. As an example, the password must include at least one number. So you can use this uh, expression in a yellow letter here. And you can use this or that. And then um, include at least one lowercase character. Uh, you can use this pattern. And also uh, uppercase, if I use that, uh, you can use this expression. And uh, at least one symbol. Um, so you can use this expression and uh, here so minimal length of 16 characters so you can change a number if you want to make it a long password like 32 uh, characters so you can type 32 here all right okay so go to validation and hit advanced and then let's add a new rule here okay so the rule type is going to be so pick matches regular expression okay and then uh, pick custom value here and then, so regular expression, so we are going to um, just use all of that expressions, okay? So I'm going to just copy and paste. Oh, and make sure you have to start with uh, carrots, which is this, the shift and then number six. Uh, you see this sign here, okay? And then end with dollar sign, okay? And then I'm going to just paste onto that everything. There shouldn't be any space between those letters. So that the first one is at least one number. And the second one is the password has to contain um, the lowercase. 
And then the third one is has to contain uppercase. And then this is um, at least one symbol. And then the minimal length of a character is going to be 16 characters in the password field. All right. And then you can add error message here. So I can put something like this. So you must create a strong, strong password, a minimal length of 16 characters, including at least one number, lowercase letter, uppercase letter, and the symbol. Okay. And then let's go hit update and update. And then let's go to the registration page and I'm going to just uh, click, click uh, refresh. So let's try this. I'm going to just uh, open up here. So let's try this. So I'm going to use uh, this password generator. And then, uh, so let's try um, uh, 12 characters. All right, so I'm, and then hit generate. And then copy this. Now, because it has to be at least 16 characters. So, right, so it doesn't work. It gives me an error message. Okay, now, so let's use, uh, maybe 17 characters, but let's uh, check off that the numbers and lowercase, uppercase and hit generate. Oh, oops. So maybe just uh, no numbers, hit generate here. Okay. So looks like this is a great password, but it doesn't have any numbers. So let's go here and then paste that. See, like I can just open up. So it still gives me an error. So now let's change that to check this on. So now it contains the number. So regenerate that and then copy this and then back here and then try this one. Now, so it works, right? All right. That's it for today. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.